Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. Today I am joined by Rob Miller from BASF. Rob, how's it going? Great, how you doing, Bern? I'm doing all right. Hey, we've got some corn growing here. We're at the Mary Hill Research Station for BASF. And I want to talk about post-emergence herbicide application and that window and how we can time our applications for different products. And hey, let, let's kick it off here. How, how wide is that window? Well, Bern, it depends on the herbicide that you're actually using. Something like glyphosate is registered all the way up to the eight leaf stage. Whereas there's other products that have some limitations, could be, you know, four or five leaf stage, or sometimes, you know, seven or eight. So that's why it's really important to know which herbicide you're using. Always check the label because they do vary in terms of the crop leaf stage. Now, how important is, is, is it to hit that leaf stage? I mean, when we miss it by a leaf or two, what type of damage can we do? Yeah, definitely. So we actually do a fair bit of testing on pushing the limits of some of these herbicides. And that's why you always want to reference that label because sometimes if you go over that label by one or two leaves, you can actually get a lot more injury. And especially as we get into larger corn, you get more surfactant injury, which actually can have an impact on corn yield and cause arrested ear syndrome. So that's where you really want to understand which label you're using and understand what stage of corn is that. I want to talk about how to stage corn though. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've three methods and what I hear most of being used is the leaf over. Take me through that. Yeah, so that is the main uh, way to stage corn that we use here in Canada. Uh, there's other methods, but the main one that we use for herbicide labels in Canada is the leaf over method. So you take the corn plant, this corn plant that I have here, and you count the leaves that are horizontal to the ground. Or And so you always count this first one, this coleoptile, this rounded uh, leaf tip here. So that is leaf one, leaf two, Leaf three, this one's horizontal, four, five, six leaf stage, because this one's horizontal. This one's not quite fully uh, enrolled yet, so this would be that six leaf stage uh, if you're using that leaf over method. What about leaf tips? Another uh, method that's used, not as common though. Not as common, that's why we always want to throw a wrench into things, but you just, like you said, just count the leaf tips. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's the nine, here, so that is where it's really important to understand which way you count it, because we were actually at a, a leaf, uh, six st leaf stage, leaf over method, but we're actually nine leaf tips. Yeah. And the final one that's used, not, not a lot here in, in Canada, mm -hmm. the, uh, the stages. Yep, the V stages, and it's predominantly used in the States, a little bit here in Canada, and you just basically count the collars. Uh, so the collars, it's actually, uh, when the leaf starts to form, it starts to form this, this collar, almost like your shirt collar, mm -hmm. around the stalk, and you start to see a yellow line there uh, start to form, and you just count those. So this would be one, two collars, three, four, five. The sixth one's not quite formed yet, so this would be a five leaf stage or five collars, and that is V5. Okay, Rob, so we've got three different methods. You know, what takeaway advice do you have for growers when they start counting? Well, even if you look at this plant burn, we're at the six leaf stage, if you use leaf over method, nine for the leaf tip method, and V4 with the V stages. So that's where it's really important to understand that in Canada, for our herbicide labels, we reference the leaf over method, so you can make sure you get that timing right. Awesome, hey, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll see you back here in the days ahead. Thanks for having me.